Hey guys, this is a contest entry for Reptile Dude 348. I'm setting up this Exoterra 12 by 12 for two leopard geckos that I have coming in the mail. One is a Tangerine Enigma, and the other is a Max Snow Raptor. Both of them are females, and I think most people would agree with me that an Exoterra isn't quite enough room for two geckos, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it a lot more space. I have this hide that I made myself and I got the desert sand over there. I have a few tiles for the uh, substrate heater to heat up so that it stays warmer on the bottom like if it were heating up rocks. So here we go. Okay, so I set up the tiles so that they'll sit right underneath where the hide is, you see? Now I'm going to dump some sand in. I'm going to need to dump a little more in there, but once I have enough, I'm going to take my brush and make it all level like that so that the hide sits properly. Okay, so now I've leveled out all the sand and the hide can go in. So this is the first piece. See, it's looking pretty good. And then the roof that has an entrance on this side goes in on top of that and now all you need is some decorations and this thing's ready so you got enough space for the hide underneath and still all this space open for walking around I thought the underground hide idea made it a lot better for geckos so I'm gonna get the uh, rest of the decorations for the so, tank. So here's this ter terrarium all set up We've got some plants, the moist box, calcium and water dish, and it looks pretty good. I, I'm pretty happy with the way this worked out. See, you can see the, uh, the ramp to the entrance up here. And then the little viewing window. And we got the lid here. So, I don't know about you, but I'd say this is enough room for a couple geckos, at least while they're fairly small. They'll have to be upgraded into a bigger terrarium eventually, but this'll work for the time being. So let's go see the geckos. Okay guys, here's Indica and Roach. This one here is Indica. She's a high yellow hypo carrot tail. And this one is Roach. We thought he was a Max Snow. I'm not 100% sure now. Somebody said he looks like a high yellow and somebody else said he looks like a jungle. So, who knows. But this is the male and this is our female. We got two more on the way who are gonna go in the terrarium that I just set up. But let's just see these guys explore in there a little bit. We haven't housed them together yet, but they'll be going in together this season to do some breeding. We're pretty excited about it. Their uh, Latin name for the uh, Leopard geckos is Eublifaris macularius. They're from the Middle East, kind of around Pakistan and India and stuff like that. So naturally they live on rocks and s compact sand. Most people think desert reptiles and oh, there's got to be lots of sand, but they don't actually live on that much sand. And that's why you shouldn't really put sand in their terrariums. I know I put sand in the bottom, but I put those tiles down to minimize the amount of sand that they ingest when they're eating and stuff like that. You don't want any calcium sand or anything like that because your geckos can become impacted from it. But if you can use sand to fill in areas, 
on the edges of certain parts of your terrarium decor, it works. Just make sure you don't have too much of it around. So, that's my custom made homemade hide. Let's see, you can see Roach through the viewing window. I made these plants myself. And uh, that's the terrarium for our geckos that we're going to be getting in a few weeks. I'll put a link to the website where they are on in the description so you can have a look at the uh, Tangerine Enigma and the Max Snow Raptor. Have a good one, guys.